What do you do if you have nine inches of rigid foam insulating your roof? How do you build a box around it? I looked for days on the internet for a way to build this. I couldn't find any advice on how to build something with nine inches of foam. If you had an inch and a half of foam, you could put a two by four on the flat or three inches of foam. You could double up the two by fours. This video goes over my solution. This is how the finished ceiling looks. My design had LVL rafters painted black, then two by tens, then nine inches of rigid foam, then zip sheathing. Check out my other videos on this channel. I go into detail on other parts of this building. I was able to get polyiso from someone in Albany, New York, who was able to bring it down to me. Uh, I'm in Northeast Pennsylvania. I'm in climate zone 5A. Um, he brought down 2.6 inch thick polyiso. I was able to get two inch thick EPS from a place called Good Vittles in Hamburg, PA. Uh, if you need EPS, they probably still have some. Also, if you need a five gallon bucket of duck fat, that's your guy. I glued two pieces of the EPS together to make a four inch thick four by eight sheet. I used Gorilla Glue construction adhesive to glue them together. So the roof is 2.6 inches of polyiso, then a staggered layer of another 2.6 inches of polyiso, and then staggered again, four inches of EPS. Uh, this roof should add up to be about R50. For cutting this thick of foam, I used a track saw with the same blade I use for cutting plywood. I needed to hold the rigid foam in place until I got all of the layers and then the zip sheathing on. I tried Gorilla Glue, it didn't work. I used these washer head screws in a few places on each just to hold them in place. I then taped each layer with zip tape. I didn't have to put all these vertical 2x10s butted up so close together. There could have been some spacing in between. I had all these scrap laying around from some other project, and I had 2x10 scraps from doing the ceiling. So I just went around the whole freaking thing. Uh, it wasn't that bad. You can cut like 20 of them at a time, and then you just, I screwed them with structural screws because um, I knew I was going to screw uh, the overhang into it. So I wanted something kind of strong. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I know there's some other better way. I would love to know. Here's another picture of how, you know, how th thick the foam was on top of the two by tens. Yeah, I did all these. <laughs> uh, there's got to be people laughing at me saying, man, why did he do that? But I don't know how, I mean, how else would you do it? You had to put some kind of box around it. I couldn't, if I wanted to do the wall sheathing before the roof sheathing, I couldn't because I needed to finish that insulation box because the sheathing is going to go all the way to the top. I want everything to be airtight. I want an airtight box. The structural screws I used were from GRK. They were not that bad to buy a box of hundreds of them. Uh, at the time they had a rebate too. So I got 50 bucks back for buying like a couple hundred dollars worth of structural screws. They are great. Um, I tried cutting one with my Dremel that you could easily cut a framing nail with, and it was just, it just wasn't going anywhere. It just, I mean, it's like some other type of metal. So four by eight sheets of zip system go over all of the insulation rigid foam. I use 11 inch screws to go through half inch zip sheathing and nine inches of foam. I put 16 screws in each panel. I can't imagine this thing going anywhere. Um, the schedule for the zip panels might be more, but for a structural screw, I don't like, what am I worried about? Uplift? Am I worried about this roof blowing away? Um, I hurricane tied the rafters. I nailed the two by tens to those LVLs. And then I think the smart thing about this design was that all of these 11 inch screws are going as far as the two by tens. 
they penetrate the two by tens one inch. So they're grabbing on to the two by tens. And because the whole ceiling is two by tens, I didn't need to try and find the rafters or, you know, the LVLs through nine inches of foam. That would be a nightmare. You're not going to be able to hit a one and seven eighths wide rafter through nine inches of foam. If you're off one degree, you're going to miss it. There's supposedly some tool that you can like hook the drill up to that makes it align right. Still, I think you would miss it um, a few times. And are you going to have somebody standing inside telling you, ah, you missed one, you missed one. Like, or are you going to climb down after every screw and check and see if you miss the rafter? If you miss, you're going to be poking a whole bunch of holes through your nine inches of insulation. So wherever you chose on that zip panel to put a structural screw through the panel and through nine inches of foam, wherever it was, it would land and hit a two by 10. And I would screw one inches through that two by 10 and it wouldn't go through the ceiling. This, I mean... I I don't have any inspections for this building. I wonder if you did have inspections and you designed it this way, if the inspector would flag you and say, this is going to blow away. It's not strong enough. So I tape all the seams and I use a sausage gun to liquid zip all of the screw holes. One of the things I bought that I would never buy again was the zip tape gun. It's impossible to go straight. Like if I was trying to do a long run on the roof and I, it looked like a drunk driver installed this tape. It's so much easier just to have a roll in your hands, start it off, stick it where you're starting it, and then just pull out a few feet and just apply it with your hand and then come back later and roll it. You have to roll zip tape. When you roll it, that actually activates it. So when you just apply it down with your hand and you make sure there's no air bubbles, you still have a chance to get it up and reposition it if you, you know, you're off too much. That's this video. Thanks for checking it out. Check out my other videos. Subscribe.